Hey guys, hope that you are doing well today. I'm just sitting here in my chair, in my pajamas, um, healing from surgery. It has been three days. I had intentions of doing an update yesterday, but I was in a lot of pain yesterday and um, I, I just, I couldn't do it. So um, let me give you a little update. I had on Friday a um, breast reduction and a um, abdominal repair for diastasis recti um, and had with that abdominal repair um, an abdominoplasty. So I have a lot of stitches um, and a lot of healing to do, a lot of swelling. Um, I'm very, very, very swollen. Um, that said, I am moving better than I anticipated that I would be. Um, I am slightly hunched over, which is normal because they sew your abs so tightly together. I had a four inch gap. Um, <clears throat> and you can hear I'm very raspy. Um, I still feel like I'm kind of getting over having the breathing tube for that. Um, thank you, Sandy. Yep, I'm trying to be strong. Um, but I'm walking pretty well. I have just one drain. Um, which I'm grateful that I don't have to deal with many of those, but I have one drain um, on my left hip, and um, the output is getting lighter, which is a good sign, um, but still I'm having, I'll have that drain for a little while. Um, today I went to the doctor, um, well, to the nurses, so that they could check all of my bandages um, and put new dressings on everything, and um, so it was the first time that actually I had everything off since Friday and could see everything and um, see, you know, all the stitches and where things are swollen and where the drain goes and all of that. Um, yeah, the drain is no fun, Anne-Marie. Um, so, but everything looked great. There isn't any signs of infection. I will tell you the one problem that I'm having is that I am so, so constipated. I hope that isn't TMI, but from all of the pain medication, from the surgery, all of that, um, that is really my big struggle right now. Um, and so I'm, we're doing kind of all the right things for that, um, to happen, but, um, I'm having a lot of abdominal pain, not just from the surgery, um, but just gas pain. So, um, hopefully that we're, that's going to resolve itself soon. Um, I am sitting in this chair, my window, I'm sorry, the, I have windows right here, so the light's a little funny, um, but this is a recliner chair that we got on Craigslist that is a lift chair, and I tell you, that was the best money we could have spent prior to the surgery. It's really made it a lot easier for me to get in and out of the chair. Um, it's where I'm sleeping. They said that I'll likely sleep here for at least three weeks. Um, I have found that... I don't, I can't grab it right now, um, but I've got a little pillow like you use on an airplane um, that has kept me pretty comfortable um, for sleeping, and I've been setting alarms on my phone so that I stay on track um, for the medication, and um, Allison, I see your comment here. Oh, thank you for your prayers. Um, it's been, this is a journey, and I think that this is a journey that um, a lot of people aren't willing to share or they feel embarrassed to share about it, or um, it feels too private, and um, I don't know, I just felt really compelled that I know that a lot of women go through this, and so I wanted to, to bring you all along for it. So thank you for your prayers and your kind words. That means a lot, Allison. Um, anyway, this chair has been great, and I've been sleeping in it, and we've got a little half bath um, right nearby, um, and I can look at our Christmas tree, so that's been really nice. Um, some friends sent us soup today, so I'm so grateful for that. Um, and a meal train is starting on Wednesday when my mother-in-law and sister-in-law leave. Um, so we're set in that area, which has been great. Um, Y'all can also pray for um, my kids, particularly Ezra. He doesn't understand why mommy is not picking him up and keeps saying that she can't pick him up, and that's really frustrating him. Um, I can't lift anything more than three pounds. Um, I probably won't be able to lift Ezra for a good, gosh, probably at least six weeks. So someone can set him on my lap, but because I'm so tender, um, 
and he's two and a boy. And so it's hard for him to just sit quiet. So um, just that he is feeling loved by everyone else. Um, and I hate that I can't pick him up. Um, yeah, I see Christian saying that the pain meds wreak havoc on your guts. It's so true. Um, so, but the big kids kind of understand what's going on. I showed them, um, I have an abdominal wrap um, that I'll wear for them at least a month. So I showed them that. Um, they haven't obviously seen any of the stitches and really have no need to, but um, it's hard. You know, it's just hard with mommy not being able to get up and, and do the things that they're used to, right? So um, anyway, I just wanted to pop in here and let you guys know what's going on. The good thing is that I'm feeling well enough that I can sit with my laptop and I've been doing some writing, which has been fun. Um, so you can expect me to try to be keeping up with the blog and working on some um, new things as well in between sleep and doing laps around my living room. So anyway, thanks for joining me in this and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.